Hi and welcome to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In the previous tutorial we looked at how to add physics 2D materials to um, objects in our game um, so that we can work with things like bounciness and friction and we also looked at different types of colliders. So in this tutorial today we're going to work a little bit more with physics 2D materials. So um, at the moment in this scene and I might just remind you um, it's probably a good time to save your scene in Unity right now if you haven't already done that. I've already saved my scene and to do that you click on File and then Save Scene and if it's the first time saving it you need to give it a name and I've just called mine Level 1. And you might also want to organize your scenes in a folder called Scenes as well. Um, so I might do that now. Right click in the Assets panel there, Create Folder and Scenes and I might drag this scene file into there. So all of this is one scene here and it's called level one. Okay, so if we have a look at this scene here, I've got um, like a bomb, a ball, some wooden planks, I've got a sky background and I've got some ground here with some grass. Okay, and if I run it, you can see that we've got some uh, physics and some collision and there's also some bounciness there um, on the ball so the ball can um, bounce and um, the way we did that was we used a bouncy material or physics 2D material so we created a bouncy material and we added it to that ball object. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to look at how to change friction on an object make things um, maybe a little bit slippery on the game and um, what I'm going to use is a different sprite so I've been using the plank sprite and now I'm going to use the ice sprite. So I'm going to drag the ice sprite in just over here somewhere. Let's move it uh, over here and we'll just rotate it just a little bit like that. It's just on a little bit of an angle. And I'm going to drag another sprite in which is going to land on this ice. Um, sprite. So I'm going to use the weight sprite. So I'll drag that in just over here and just zoom in a little bit and might just um, scale this down a little bit, make it a bit smaller. Okay, so we've got um, like an ice brick here and we've got a weight sprite there as well. Now what we'll do so that um, these two objects can collide is we'll add um, to the weight We'll add a rigid 2D body, rigid body 2D component. Click on add component, physics 2D, and then rigid body 2D. We'll also add a collider. So we'll go add component, physics 2D. And because this isn't really in the shape of a box or a circle, it's not just like a, a line, um, we need to use a polygon collider. So we'll click on that, and then the polygon collider kind of traces around the shape of this weight. Okay, and then what we need to do is go to the ice sprite and also add a collider to that. So we can just use a box collider and then we can just resize that. Um, so you can just drag it. If you click on edit collider, you can just drag these edges in. We can actually um, change it here by just dragging. If you move your mouse over X there, you can change the um, width and you can also change the height there as well by dragging, clicking and dragging on Y. <clears throat> okay, so let's just play that. Alright, so notice what happens straight away is the weight lands on the ice um, but it kind of just gets stuck there. So even though this ice is on a little bit of a slope, um, the weight gets stuck there and it can't fall off. So I might just still make that ice a bit smaller. Play that again. All right, so you can see the ice gets stuck there. So what we can do is we can add a physics 2D material to make the uh, the ice slippery, okay? So that this weight will actually slide down the ice and fall off. So we'll go back to assets and we'll go to my materials folder. And I've already got a physics 2D material here called bouncy. So that one was used on the ball to make it bounce. What we'll do is create a new physics 2D material. So right click here, create physics 2D material. 
and I'm going to call this one slippery. Click on that. And in friction here, we can change the value so we could make it something between zero and one. So um, what I'll do <clears throat> is reduce the friction and make it something like 0 0.1. So reducing the friction should make this uh, ice block uh, actually slippery. So it'll be like ice. Okay. And now we need to actually add this physics 2D material to the ice sprite. So we can go to the ice sprite um, and here we have material none. So we can just drag slippery onto there and now we're using the slippery material. We can play that and there you go. So it's uh, sliding down the ice. It hasn't completely fallen off, but it was close. So we might just change the angle just a little bit. See if it slides off now. There we go. Okay, so that is how to change the friction of an object or um, add uh, like a slippery material to an object. So there we go. The bomb, uh, sorry, the, the weight just slides right off the ice. And if we wanted to get rid of that material, if we didn't want to use it anymore, we could just click on the material here and press delete. And now there's no material attached there. So we'll run that again. And you can see that the weight just, it doesn't slide off without using that slippery material. Okay, so that's it for physics 2D materials um, and colliders. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at um, prefabs. Thanks for watching.